Hi, I'm Emily, and in this video, I'm making this sleek velvet dress. I've been wanting a velvet dress for winter, and I love the Mandy dress by Reformation. I didn't want to make an exact dupe, but I used the Mandy dress as inspiration for the dress that I made. For this dress, I used a combination of the Macal's 7479, as well as the pattern I created for my wrap dress. I used this bluish stretch velvet. I only got two yards because I wasn't sure what I was going to make when I bought it, so I decided to make a mock-up first so I don't waste any fabric. Of course, that didn't really help me because I ended up running out of fabric later in the project anyway, but I felt better about it in the moment. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Using the mock-up, I finalized my bodice and sleeve pattern pieces. Then I pinned them to my fabric and cut them out. Kiki decided it was time for the first quality inspection. After some small bribery, she gave it a passing score. I did a basting stitch on the bodice shoulders, and then attached the front and back at the shoulder seam. Then I tried this dart I've never tried before. It's called a dart tuck. Basically, it's like a normal dart, but instead of tapering the dart along your curves, you just stop sewing and leave the end of the dart open so you get this pleated, flowy, crinkly kind of look. And it was very tricky to do on this slippery, stretchy fabric. Then I sewed the sides together, and that was it for the bodice. Next, there were the sleeves. I did a basting stitch along the top and folded them over to sew the sides closed. Kiki came in for a second quality inspection. I tried bribery again, but she wasn't having it this time. Next were the sleeve cuffs. This is one of the big differences from the Mandy dress. The Mandy dress had shirring along the cuffs to make them stretchy, but since I was already using a stretch fabric, I decided to just do a normal cuff. I gathered the puffy sleeve and sewed it into the cuff. Then I attached the sleeves into the armhole. I used to hate attaching sleeves, but now that I've gotten better at it, it's actually one of my favorite parts to do. Since this fabric is so stretchy, I reinforced the neckline with bias tape so it doesn't gape too much around the chest and neck area. Then the hard part was done, so it was time to make the skirt. I attached the four skirt pieces together and hemmed the bottom. Then I made some straps to go around the waist. This is one of the most exciting parts. I attached the skirt to the bodice and added the straps. Then I could finally try it on. I decided that it was too short. Unfortunately, as I mentioned at the beginning, I had already used all the fabric, so I had to go to Joanne Fabrics and get some more. To make the dress longer, I cut a long strip, gathered it, and added a ruffle to the bottom of the dress and it was done. I feel like it has some strong winter witch vibes, but I like how it looks. The velvet is also warm and perfect for winter. Thanks for watching.